What's going on everybody? Um, doing a quick video again to compare two more modules, uh, Rapid Fire and Fusion this time. Haven't seen many tests out there for this, so I wanted to put this out there to hopefully help anyone out who's making the determination what to buy. Note that this is on firmware 0.27, which is a recently released beta firmware that HD0 put out that is a dramatic improvement over the previous firmwares eliminated a lot of the bad rolling screen behaviors that were present in the rapid fire module um, so keep that in mind here the rapid fire module and the fusion module both have similar antennas one uh, long range omni and one patch antenna these are two separate flights as you can see here but they're sort of lined up so you can get a good idea of the breakup you know the videos speak for themselves but i am going to i'm, I'm going to give you my opinion on these and it kind of echoes what people have said about these modules, even when they use them on analog goggles, is the performance is so similar that it really comes down to what you can get your hands on and for what price you can get your hands on it. Um, again, there's, they're so similar. If I were to pick one, I would say the Rapid Fire has a little bit better performance. It breaks up a little bit less, um, and it breaks up a little less dramatically when it does. Uh, that, that being said, if you, you notice the fusion on the left has a brighter image and rapid fire has a more muted image. Don't know if that means anything to anyone, but I kind of enjoy the fusion's image uh, more than the default rapid fire image. And because of that reason, I really wanted to make fusion work. Um, and it, again, it's a great module, but because I have the choice, because I have them both, and because I've seen you know results similar to these, like right here you can kind of notice it there's a little bit more breakup in fusion than there is rapid fire it's neither of them are bad fusion is not bad but you know if i have both you know if you have the choice rapid fire performs a little bit better in my opinion take a look at the fusion really quickly this is going to be a desync behavior it's going to be pretty bad i haven't experienced that desync with fusion um, before that was the first time i experienced that i don't think that's a really good representation of the module that happens so infrequently and we're pushing you know a 200 milliwatt whoop uh, to its limits uh, that's a little bit far um you know oh and this is just i, I put in a video here of, of uh, a little bit more um uh, flight footage of the rapid fire module so you can see you know the improvements um, in the quality of the rapid fire but just to kind of summarize again i think both of those modules the fusion and, and the rapid fire perform well i think you'll find fusion for a cheaper price i think it's a little bit cheaper i think rapid fire performs slightly better um i think you're good on either of them i think if you're comparing these modules to maybe the state view x module I would say either of these are the better choice. Unfortunately, I really wanted to like SteadyView. Um, I like SkyZone and I like their, their goggles, but that module is just the, the module itself is a little bit behind the tech that um, exists in these two modules. So keep that in mind. I'm going to eventually bring out a desync here. I'm desperately trying, and on previous firmwares, we would have certainly had a rolling screen by now. This is a pretty problem spot for me. You know, directly behind the house, you know, the concrete um, foundation as well. But nothing came about. So I was getting, I was surprised at this point, And I was starting to realize, you know, I think they really did make some pretty big improvements. Um, yeah, the HD0 analog is looking great. And these are two, I would say, subpar antennas as well. And we're getting this type of performance. We're going to see the first rolling screen incident. We're going to see two of them in a row. The first one is very minor, but it's a good example. Right there, that was a very small one. And then we're going to have a slightly longer one here. See that? So that's the desync behavior. It is greatly, greatly improved from what it was. I'm sure those of you familiar with it, the rolling screen, um, will attest to that, you know, the prior it was almost, it was near unflyable the whole screen would roll upwards you would lose track of where you were flying it was it was unacceptable and now it is it, it's it's great this quality is, is absolutely great so yeah, i'm just gonna let that play out for a little bit more um i hopefully this helps people decide which module they want and you know what the state of the analog is on the hd zero goggles because for a while it was bad 
it was certainly bad, at least on the rapid fire module. Um, but now it is not. Now it is very good. And, you know, I, I kind of had faith that that was going to happen anyway. It was just a matter of time until they sorted it out. Um, so no, no real surprise there. Um, very happy with these goggles overall. And, yeah, I spent a lot of uh, time and money <laughs> trying different things, um, modules, antennas, so figuring out what's, what firmwares are the best and all that jazz. So if you do have any questions about anything, feel free to leave them in the comment um, down below. I, I'll certainly help you out if I can. Um, just share my experience so you don't have to spend the extra money like I foolishly did trying this, that, and, and everything else. Um, so, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it here. Um, hopefully that helps out, and uh, thanks for watching. See you later.